uh, we've got another discussion uh, question here. Is it the same technique when we want when we just want to add a quick ornamentation or a quick effect? For example, in a pop song, are they? I mean, we'd have to hear the song exactly what what you meant, Diego, um, to be really specific for you. But um, I guess the question is: Is it the same distortion activation that they're using in a pop song? It is, yeah, and um, I think it would probably be a, a higher up distortion because it false folds. Um, as I was talking about a little bit earlier, when you when you introduce the false folds, it becomes quite a heavy distortion. Um, hang, on, hang on one second, Nicole, because maybe somebody noticed. But somebody's mic was on. We we're getting some nice jazz music in the background, so I couldn't hear you very well. But yeah, um, I love jazz. But go ahead, Nicole. Um, yeah, I was just saying that when you introduce the false folds. Um, you start to get um, like a it's it's a more erratic vibration. It's not like a light distortion, if you know what I mean. Um, whereas like kind of like if you're around like the car the, the cartilages, um, then you get a lighter distortion. But it, it's the same. Um, it is the same effect as like sort of the ari epiglottic um, epiglottic distortion. Um, but obviously, to to quickly pop it in, um, I think it would take. If you're if you're trying to do it as a beginner, it's unlikely that it will just come really naturally. So I think you'd have to take it quite slowly, um, and then obviously once you've learnt it, 100%, you could put it in a little bit in a pop song here and there. Um, but it would, yeah, it, it takes a bit of training, definitely. Cool. Thank you for that, Nicole, and thank you for the question.